your Craftman Federal Credit Union Sports Desk. Well, the OCS Eagles have been untouchable through four weeks of the season, up front on the offensive line, on the ground, and even on the defensive side of the ball. But there's one group who has played an integral part in their early success, a group who nobody's talked about nearly enough. Well, I think we can be uh, really dangerous. We got weapons all over the field that can go out there and make plays. And so we've had a lot of people stepping up this year. The Washita Christian Eagles are off to another hot start to the 2024 season. The Eagles have scored a total of 187 points through four games, averaging just under 47 points per game, while their defense is allowing less than two points per game. This team has dominated. The Eagles graduated a loaded senior class on both sides of the ball, but the questions were surrounding how to replace those playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. The Eagles had no issue introducing new playmakers to the field, starting with the catalyst for it all, Macon Leonard. I, I tell you, Mike has done outstanding, and, and uh, again, his first year as a full-time starter, he stepped in and, and uh, done a super job. Uh, has already had a 200-yard game and, uh, and, and a lot of other games that he's just done really well in. And, uh, you know, great speed on the outside and, and, and has made some tough, hard runs on the inside. But again, he's a guy that uh, is capitalizing on his opportunity. Uh, this year as a senior and, and being the full-time starter, being the guy uh, that, that, you know, I think in last week's game he carried almost 20 times. And so uh, showing that he can get the workload done and, uh, you know, doing a great, great job. So I'm real proud of, of making it. And when you have a guy like that, that you have to, defenses have to respect the run, uh, you know, that's, that's something that opens up the passing game for you as well. But Leonard isn't the only person stepping into a bigger role this season. The Eagles knew they were losing a big-time playmaker on the outside with the graduation of Tate Hamby, who is now continuing his football career at Vanderbilt University. But there was not one guy who took on a bigger role in his absence. In fact, it was the entire receiving core who did just that, and their numbers this season show for it. Yeah, it's been, it's been really big. I mean, we've all put in a lot of work in the offseason, and we got two new guys stepping up, uh, Cam and then Luke, who got hurt last week, but he'll be back this week. So it's been huge for us to be able to go out there and make plays. We've had several guys, Turpin has stepped up, Cam Voyon has stepped up, and, and, and just as receivers, those guys, uh, I think we've had four different guys this year that have had a game of over 80 yards receiving. And so, uh, you know, for that to take place, uh, it just shows, again, that people are making the most of their opportunities that they have. And, uh, and so, again, uh, each person just stepping in and doing their job and, and uh, so it's exciting that, that, again, play as a team, do your part, do what you're supposed to do. You don't have to do anything extraordinary. Just do your job and, uh, and, and things will work out. Not only has this receiving group given opposing defenses nightmares, but they have also played a major role in the progression of quarterback Luke Vadrine. Knowing you have guys who will make plays as long as you can get the ball in their hands brings a new confidence. Take that along with the other attributes, and Vadrine is becoming one of the elites. Yeah, Luke's done a, he's done a great job. He's gotten a lot bigger over the course of the season, and uh, we can just trust him to make the throws, and we'll know that uh, he'll hit us every time. He's a lot stronger physically. I think that's the number one thing that, that you know, we saw during 7-on-7 seven seven during the summer, but I, I think now that the season starts, everybody else obviously gets to see that as well. But, uh, again, he's just uh, so much physically stronger, and, uh, and after having a year under his belt, uh, a full season last year, a uh, lot more comfortable with things, and, and uh, it's coming more natural. And, and so, uh, again, he's done a great job of stepping in, just leading the offense, being who he is, and, and, and leading this group that, again, a bunch of new starters around him. Uh, but uh, everything's in sync with each other. Washington Christian has been dominant through four weeks of the season, but as dominant as they have been, they have yet to play to their fullest. No, I don't think we have. Not, not even close to it yet. We've still got a lot of work to put in. And... A lot of work to do that. I think we'll be good. We will have more from those OCS Eagles as one of our start of the weeks, but you have to wait until Thursday to see that. Hey, that's all the time for sports. Thanks for watching.